Hello, Captain N. Quarter. Today is the 9th of April 2000, and you are starting your season number one of King Crab Fishing on Bering Sea. It will take 11 days. Your current position in overall leaderboard is at position one. Good luck. This captain offers you a bet. Whoever catches more crabs in this season wins. $5,000. It's not really much money in this game, but oh well, there you go. But welcome to Deadliest Catch, the game. This was released in April the 14th in 2020 and developed by 4Fishing. So many thanks to them for the free Steam key. Oop, bit of lag there. But basically, yeah, it's just crab fishing. It's not a great deal to this game. Oh, I got no jump button. That's disappointing. But we'll run over here. We'll grab some skills. And yeah, it's kind of a peaceful game. Like I wouldn't say it's overly fantastic, but I don't mind it for a bit of a, uh, you know, time passing. What do we got? Deckhands know how. Uh, a couple things I want to get straight off the bat. Uh, where are they? Don't want bait close at hand. Don't want that one. Nope, not in that one. Captain's contacts. Trade. So yeah, we'll do this one permanently. 10% discount on the Dutch Harbour shop goods. Yes, I do. Yeah, I might go the 15 as well. Like, stuff's pretty cheap, so it's not really going to benefit us that much, but any help is help indeed. I don't want to reduce fines. Yeah, don't want that one. 5% boost. Nah, it's kind of cheating. But we'll do this one. We'll grab one crew member. And we will also, that one there, so they can sort the crabs faster. Because I don't mind doing all the other stuff, but sorting the crabs, hell no, I'm not doing that shit. So what do we got? Crewmates are performing 25% faster. We might do that one as well. Still got, what, 28,000, so it's not too bad. And we'll run over here, we'll grab a little deckhand. So what have we got? Alex Mabote, <laughs> John Saylor, Stanley Salmon, and Harry Sorter. Uh, we'll just go from Mr. McBoaty here. So, hire you for five and a half. And we'll go buy some goodies. Uh, not sure what that one is. Yeah, pay fines. Hopefully I won't get any fines, so... Touch wood. Yeah, this is our harbour shop here. So we want some boys. So we got, what, no boys currently. Uh, I think we have position for eight crates so we might as well get eight boys grab a couple of the grappling hooks or maybe yeah yeah I'll just get two uh, penetrating oil this is to repair some stuff so we'll just grab a couple same to repair our pots and we'll get some herring bait maybe four of those won't worry about the rest of the baits. So we'll get our crab pots. So we can have the max of eight. And we do need a tote. I'll just get the one. We've got 23,000 left still. Well, I haven't actually brought this stuff yet, so I'll accept that. So 16,000. I might just use the rest to top up fuel and we'll head out. Do, do, do. So yeah, the uh, the pumps here. Can I crouch? Here we go. So we got. Please drive safe. No worries. Oh, no mobile mobile phones. No drinking and driving. Freaking. Well, I'm disappointed now. Now uh, we'll top up. Still got eight grand left, but it's all good for now. We got enough to get going. We'll jump down here, hop in our little boat. So you do get to name the boat, but for some reason it doesn't actually show it on the ship. So I didn't really worry about doing a fantastic name. I just did a mission gaming. But we'll jump on and set sail. Cool, cool. So here we are on the deck. So we've got our crates there. Got our boy, is he? Yeah, that's our bait. 
That's where we demolish the bait. And Mr. Alex, looking pretty retarded. He's just standing there. He must have waxed his face before he came aboard. And there's our little grappling hook and I'm stuck. And up there is our little hook for getting the crates out. But we'll jump up here and we'll show you the, the little cabin here. Not sure what they call them in the uh, in boats. But we got a little demonstration of all our crabs we can get so we can kind of get an idea of what we're catching. But I'm probably not going to worry about that stuff. But we got the Scarlet King male. We got a Red King female. Red King male. Snow Crab male. A Snow Crab female. Golden King male and female. Blue King male and a female. So I see that the total difference between the Blue Kings. These ones are a little bit harder. One looks slightly darker than the female. And I wish you could like pick them up and kind of like turn them around so you can see the differences on the bottom as well. Because yeah, they are pretty sure the bottom of them is called the apron and the females and males tend to have, you know, completely different apron looking. But there we go. So I might jump in here. We'll look for a good spot. Uh, if we press tab, we can bring up our little tablet. Go to the map. Alrighty, so what we want to look for is sandy or muddy. And we want 11 to 110 FTM, which is a fine timing me measurement. So I don't quite understand how all that stuff works, but that's what it is anyway. I did Google it. And we want to try uh, at least four degrees Celsius, which is 39 Fahrenheit. Uh, we show Fahrenheit on the little tablet here. So what do we got? Where are we? So we're down here. Oh, we got someone out already. Couldn't wait to get out. Or is that me? Could be me actually. <laughs> Derp. So we got Sandy. Maybe there. So that's 38.3. What else have we got? So that's 38 and depth of 36.8. So it does say in the menu that captains prefer 29 to 54 FTM. So might do there. It's quite close to the shore. So it's 50.3 nautical miles and it will take 3 hours and 28 minutes and we'll use 176.3 gallons. Cool. That will do. Alrighty. How close are we? Oh, we got some other boats out there. Never actually seen other boats on the uh, on the game before. Everyone must have chose this spot. <laughs> oh well. But what we might do is we'll jump back in here. We will probably not head that way because that's the shore. And I'll probably end up smashing into it, which isn't good. But we'll face away, probably try not to smash into the other boats, although that would be quite funny. Do, do, do. And I'll probably show you manually what to do. And then I think on the second run I'll get Mr. Alex all to work. And I'll put it in notch two, get moving a bit. Looks like a uh, clear run ahead of me. And we'll jump back down here. So when you want to go up back up there, you don't have to go the long way. You can just jump straight back in there. But yeah, just wanted to show you the uh, all the bits and bobs up there. So first thing we want is we'll pop this up, make it level. I'm going to push Alex out of the way. So with the crane, you can use the controller over there or you can use this one. Uh, how do I change my camera? There we go. So we'll grab this crate here. Up we go. And we'll drop it here. Hopefully it doesn't fall off. So happy days. 
Next thing we want is you don't have to, but it does tell you to lower it first. Or open you up. We'll grab a boy, chuck you on the top, and then we'll grab some of our herring, mash it up, and grab one of our bait blocks. Stick you in there and close you up. And then we just plop it down. Goodbye. There, so yeah, easy, easy. So we'll do all of this. Maybe we might get Mr. Alex to work. So we'll go into the crew. Uh, you can put the pot on the launcher. I'll do the prep and you can launch. Get to work. Now get to work. Hurry up. God, taking forever. Cool, cool. So we'll chuck that. We can't chuck that there. Chuck that there. Grab our bait. Hurry up with that pot, will ya? See, so yeah, I won't worry about lowering it because it's not really needed. We can still do it. And he will launch it. Goodbye. We got a whale over there. Free Willy. Oop. I will need to pop that down for you, wouldn't I? Alrighty, so rinse and repeat for all of these. Drop the boy, will ya? Oh, that was quick. <laughs> Got your shit together, did ya? Chuck you up there. And pop you down. Might do the bait first this time. Mixing it up. Might check what's in front of me. No, oh shit, I do have a boat that I'm heading for. Yeah, it should be fine. He's got a tiny boat, sucks to be him. Well, it looks tiny from my distance anyway. Pop you up there. In you go, no, in, in you go. And down you go. Goodbye. We're rolling. Actually, we're floating, but you know, you get it. Oh, sugar, I didn't want that, but oh well. Actually, I think you can put them back in the fridge. There you go. I learned something. Slow down, dude. I wish when you only had the one thing in there, you can just press E and it will take one out rather than constantly going into that menu because I keep forgetting. Derp, derp. Alright, so now we do need more herring. Mash it up. Grab one of these. Come on, drop it. There's nothing in my way. So yeah, the controls a little bit clunky, but you know, it works all right. You get used to it. I wouldn't really call it smooth. And yeah, many times I've like pressed the wrong button. So when I wanted to put it down, I've actually put it back up and threw the pot back into the sea with all the crabs in it. So that kind of sucked. Oh, I did it again. You can tell I haven't really played this game a great deal. <laughs> but yeah, I've tend to do some pretty stupid stuff when I did play it and I just yeah constantly shaking my head because I'm like why did I just do that so we've got left one more one more pot and then we will pass some time we'll let all the crabs hopefully we do catch some crabs I might check the uh, front of my boat at the moment because should probably be getting a bit close to that other guy. But now we're well off him. All good. So they're all there. So we usually wait about 10 minutes. 
So I might turn the boat around and I'll set up the second phase with Mr. Alex. But I'll go up here just so I can enjoy the views as well, because why not? I wish when you go through the other door you can, you know, you start in the seat, you can press another button to just get back out in the cabin. But you can't, can't win them all I guess. Might head over to this guy, just for the sake of it. Just because I'm interested what it's like to be around other boats. G'day me matey. I don't see anyone on board. It's an abandoned ship. It'd be pretty funny if though you could steal all their pots. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cheating. Oh, but yeah. It does seem like a pretty nice little boat there. I like mine better, purely because it's mine. But we'll head back to our pots and then we will probably advance our time. I gotta try and find my pots now. Alrighty, start slowing down. So we do have a little speedometer there. And what are we in notch two? Yeah, can stay in two for the moment, still slowing down a fair bit. Chuck it in one now. So yeah, ship physics aren't the, you know, something to rave about. It goes forward and it turns. That's pretty much all I got to say about it. But almost there, we'll get aligned and then we'll pass some time. Make a cup of tea or something. A little further. Yeah, it should be plenty there. Chuck it in neutral, and if you want to slow down more, throw it in reverse. There we go. Cool, cool. So we'll just jump down here. Check our alignment there. Yeah, it should be plenty. So what we want is go to our little inventory. We'll grab one of our grappling hooks. Smash Alex over the head with it, just for standing there and we'll chuck it in there. All right, and when we want to pass time, we'll just press T and we'll move 10 hours. All righty, so these pots are all ready. It's gotten a little bit darker and we'll bring up the map. Don't know if we can see any at the moment, but there are storms in the game as well, which can cause damage to your ship if you don't align it correctly. But we got no storms anywhere. So happy days. But we'll set Alex up. So we want to be pot collecting. And once I collect the pots, I want to throw them back in the water. So one mistake I always do, just pop you to rest in so nothing breaks, is I usually have him catching and reeling. So when you put it on that, he'll catch it, reel it in, blah, blah, blah and then you'll have to swap it to pot setting. But then basically he will throw out the pot. I'll oh, pick up the pot, sorry. So basically he will pick up the pot that you've just reset and put back out. So we won't be doing that one. I might get him to do, so I'll do the catching and attaching. He can do the throwing out. Actually, you can do that one as well. And we won't store it because we're going to be realigning it, resetting it, and then chucking it back up. So I think that looks all good. So we'll put it on pot collecting. And yeah, he's complaining that there's nothing to do. Where did he go? Freaking bludger. Oh, one thing we do need to do is bring the hook down because otherwise I can't grab it. So we'll grab this one and we'll grab this hook, grab the hook. So he's brought it up. Oh, come on, there's nothing in there. What the hell? Hopefully <laughs> they're not all like that. But we'll set this one back up. Yeah, 
and we'll chuck it back in. Bummer. But one thing I forgot to do is we want it in at least one notch. So we got like Fahrenheit is good and our depth is good. Are we like muddy? Yeah, we're on sandy. We'll have a look at this other pot then. Alright, we'll have a look at this one. Come on Alex, get to work. Heave! What? Nothing again. Alright. What's going on here? Maybe I picked a really bad spot. Ah. Uh. Oh, I might check the rest off camera. Um, and then, yeah, see how we go. Alrighty, take two. See if we get anything this time. So I've been to a new location, dropped all the pots off again. And I will need to set to collecting. And he should bring the winch down. Here we go. Here we go, we got some crabs. Happy days. So we'll grab that sticker there. And are you emptying them or? Yes you are. No you're not, you're just standing there. Get to work Alex. God you're useless. Drop the frickin boy. Oh, get out of my way then. So we'll bring this thing over. Now are you going to do something? Nope, completely useless. <laughs> and press that button. We won't tip the crate back into the shit sea, which I've done before. All right, what are you doing? No, stop. Whatever you're doing. No, I didn't want that. <laughs> well, you can put that pot back on. Pretty please. Alrighty, so put you back to collecting and I will get all this all sorted might do it all off camera get all the crabs all plonked in there and then Alex can start sorting them like a good little boy alright that's the last one open you up I need to bring that over first and tip you in so I did run out of bait, so I've had to store my pots for the moment. But once we get sorting through these crabs, you can actually find some fish that you can turn into more bait. I might actually get Alex to put that away. Nah, I'll do it. It's all good. I'll get Alex to start sorting. So what do we want? Uh, crab sorting. Have fun. Shit job. But we will pop this one away. Wait until we get some fish. And then we might throw them all back in. But once all these are sorted, I'll probably head back to the harbour. Sell what I got. And I might get some more fuel. Can I drop it there? Yeah. Cool, cool. Alrighty, so yeah, we got a fish there. This is our bad pile. And this is our good pile, so we've got three at the moment. But we'll grab our little tote, get it from our inventory. And we'll wait until they get sorted a bit more. We'll just plonk it down. And I might just check if I need to do some repairs. So we'll grab the penetrating oil. I don't know if it has anywhere. Yeah, okay, well it won't let me do it no more, so must be all good. And we'll prayer this one as well. Yep, yeah, all good. Pop this in there. And I'll just stop Mr. Alex for the moment and I'll just show you why I don't like doing this crap. So get out of the way. Move it. Alrighty, so we'll grab a little crab there. And then you wanna Scroll on it, so when you ro rotate it, 
to the required angle, it'll be like, is it good or is it bad? So that one's got green, green, I'm pretty sure that's good. So we'll, how do I do it again? That one. And so forth and so forth. That one looks a bit small. So yeah, that one's no good. So you go in the bad pile. But yeah, it's very boring. So Alex can go back to doing that. Have fun, dude. And we will open that, grab our little tote. The good ones we'll throw down the hall. And the bad ones we will throw back in the ocean. Mm. Nope. Sorry, little suckers. So we got our little fish there. Is that going to be enough fish to get some more bait? Cool, cool. <laughs> Not a great deal, but it's a little bit. I'll throw you down. I'll get my ship relocated to the other way. Because I did have a couple of bait to throw two more of my crates down, so I'll start facing there they are over there. I'll face over that way. So when I got enough bait, I'll head back that way and throw my other crates in. And there's poor little Alex there doing his a fun little job. Yeah, I got no ships around me. Everyone's probably back at the harbour. QQ. Yeah, that should be alright. Not too fussed. But we can check our, not that button, check our leaderboard. So currently nobody has sold anything. So happy days. And where is everyone? They're all the way over there. See, I moved over there. So maybe, I think I chose like 39 Fahrenheit before, but yeah, now I'm around 37 and a bit deeper as well. But we will, how do I close that? There we go. Wait until Alex sorts all this and we'll head back to the harbor. Alrighty, Alex is all done and I've had enough bait to get all my pots out again. I did mess up with one pot where I kind of threw it out without my boy. But yeah, these things happen. But we'll pop him back on resting. Oh, you're already on resting. Go stand somewhere else because you're annoying me there. But we'll sort all these out, chuck you over there. And what we got here? Close you up, I think that was all of them. Um, probably not gonna be able to do three fish. I think it's six fish minimum, yeah. So I may as well just Chuck in. I don't know if I can put them in the fridge actually. Never tried that. Nope, guess not. Well, you guys can go free. Probably already dead, but throw you away and we'll get rid of you as well. Alrighty, so what do we got? 1,941 pounds. Not a great deal. We can actually keep going, but. Just to end the video, I'll head back to the harbour. Why am I going in here? I don't actually need to. And we click that thing, and what do we got? 176 and one nautical miles. It'll take 12 hours. All right, so here we are, daytime again. So it's September 6th at the moment, so there's still eight days left. So I think I sell them here. E to sell crabs. So we've got no fines and 19,398 and a 73 cents. So not too bad. Now, what do we got? Red King, we got Golden King, Blue King, and no snow crab. Well, wonder if it only comes out in the snow. <laughs> I don't know actually. Maybe it does. <laughs> but we'll accept that. All this goodie. Now uh, we'll have to buy a new pot because I threw my other pot away, as you do. And no, I don't want that. I don't know the difference to the bait. If you actually get, you know, different crabs or more, more likely to get the crabs. But we'll grab maybe 
I do six this time because I kind of ran out before. And we're still good on everything, so got two boys left. And that'll be one spare with that extra crate I brought. So that's all good. Oh crap. Didn't actually accept that. It's better. And we'll head over to the skill place. Might as well spend some money. Uh, what do we got? Work faster. Yes. QQ. And 12,000 left, so can't do number two for sword and crabs. Maybe I should have done the sword and crabs first. Uh, skilled use is repaired. More effective. Yeah, alright. What was that one? Pull the grappling hook faster. Sure, why not? And that 2,300 will probably just go into fuel. But yeah, I think the major missed opportunity with this game is not multiplayer, because I think I'm not really one to brag about having multiplayer in games. I'm always like, you know, get over it. But yeah, I think multiplayer in this one, like have three other, you know, friends on your ship and also have every other ship with a crew of four all competing against each other. I think that would have been a pretty good thing to do. But yeah, it's just single player. And I don't believe this game's actually still under development, so... Oh eh, well. But we can have some upgrades to do here as well. Which I haven't actually gone into any of this in my little test playthrough. But yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's not a bad game. Like, I don't mind it for, you know, passing some time here and there, but... I don't go out of my way to, you know, heavily play it anyway. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.